I thought I'd put together a quick video on this power latching circuit. It's basically turning this MOSFET on and off to drive your load. Now, lots of other people done YouTube videos on similar circuits, but I found some of them were unreliable, depending on how long you press the button for. Um, some, some of them were unstable and your, your supply would go on and off very rapidly. So um, this one I found is very reliable. It doesn't matter how long you press the button for, uh, it works perfectly every time. Even if you hold the button in, it doesn't oscillate on and off or anything like that. So let's have a look at the circuit. Okay, here's the circuit. It comprises of a P-channel MOSFET and two bipolar transistors. These are NPN transistors, a few resistors, a push button switch, and a capacitor. You then have your supply voltage coming in here and this would go off to your, your load, your output. So when you initially put your positive supply here, then everything I've shown in red, just to help you visualize, would be pulled up to your positive supply. I had this at nine volts in the demo I just gave. So all of this would be sitting at nine volts, including this capacitor, which would eventually charge up through this 660K ohm resistor to the supply voltage. And when we press the button, this rail here, which is connecting the two bases of these transistors, becomes positively charged. So that will turn on those two transistors. Because the transistors have, have turned on, then basically this is now pulled to ground. So this 100K pull up to my supply voltage on the other side of that resistor is pulled harder to ground through this transistor. And this supply over this side is now pulled to ground. So the other side of this switch now, rather than connecting to a positive supply, is actually connected to a ground connection. Also, because this is pulled to ground, my P-channel my MOSFET now turns on. So the supply comes into this transistor and passes through, and through this 100K resistor, latches this transistor. So the circuit's now latched in an on state. The, the voltage coming out of it is keeping these two transistors in an on state and keeping the whole thing running. So the effect of this transistor turning on and pulling all of this to ground and discharging this capacitor means that this switch now, when I press it, will pull it back to ground rather than pulling it up to my positive supply as it did before. So let's do that. There we go. I, pull, I push the switch and now this goes to ground. These two transistors now turn off. That, therefore, this 100K is the dominant supply into this MOSFET. The transistor therefore turns off and your supply to your output also goes off. And we're back to the original state where we started. This capacitor charges up to the supply voltage through this resistor and everything I'm showing in red is pulled up to your supply voltage, which as I said was 9 volts in that uh, demonstration I gave at the beginning. All right, it's brilliant. It works fantastically. If you want to know which transistors are used, uh, there they are. That's an IRF4905 P-channel MOSFET. And I use the most common, probably hobbyist transistor, BJT transistor going, the 2N2222 for these here. And then these are just standard resistors you can use. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. Catch you later.